Hey there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets. Today we're going to be talking about senior blues or depressions about being lonely or alone. If you need additional information in the text box below, there's links to various websites, including one that'll take you out to Amazon.com that has all 12 of the best-selling books in the San Miguel de Allende secrets book series. The U.S. Surgeon General released an advisory today calling the attention to the public health crisis of loneliness, isolation, and a lack of connection. The report cites half of adults experience loneliness daily, increasing the risk for premature death on par with having the same levels of smoking nearly a pack of cigarettes daily. The news reminded me of a nice Atlanta couple I had toured the other day. They were well-dressed, around 70, and apparently happily married. As often happens on tours, we got into conversations I never anticipated. They had been in Atlanta for over a quarter century working and raising their family. Today the kids are grown and in far-flung places, and they find themselves without a support network. I mentioned it is hard when working and raising kids to meet others unless you are active in a church, and they weren't. So they have no ties to keeping them in Atlanta. They considered returning to their hometowns, but have long been gone so long now they don't know folks there anymore either. It reminded me of my sister-in-law that retired for a week. That was all it took for her to realize she had no interest outside her children, so had no friends despite a lifetime in the same town. A week later, she was back to her old job. Or, like my sister, Kitty, now finds themselves in an old folks' home, which is never a joy. Sure, it's nice to no longer cook and clean, but spending every meal with folks that don't know where or who they are, it's wearing. It is different for Mexicans as they tend to live with their family forever. If not, there is always church groups as being Catholic here is a lifestyle, not simply a religion. Consequently, it's common to know folks of various ages your entire life just from participating in processions and religious events. It's not like me to write about an issue without presenting a solution, but I don't really have one for growing old and lonely at the same time. I'm lucky as a writer, I have a rich internal life, so I'm quite comfy in my own company as I am with my families or buddies. Perhaps life in a 55 plus town is a good solution to the senior blues, but for me, I need folks of all ages around me and would wilt if only interacting with others of my age and interests all the time. As always, if you want to know when the new videos come out, simply click subscribe now.